You're not even thinking twice about it. I've learned a lot about the agility of how you guys approach stuff because me and some of my older peers are trying to understand how to readjust ourselves into this Instagram, Twitch, online landscape. Like, this mm. isn't easy for me. Like, this was a, it took me two to three months to decide to go live for the first, I had to fight. It was all, it was hard. Like, I, I, I try hard to make it look easy because you're supposed to, but yo. For somebody like a lot of people, I find you're just like in this world where, let's go back to your story. This is why I wanted to start with your story because I have some assumptions that I can't clarify right now. Okay, go ahead. So the last I heard, we got through question one, which was uh, you were like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. It took an hour to get through one question. Let's get it's it. amazing. <laughs> I'm and with I feel you. it. And I really appreciate mm -hmm. everyone here. I, I appreciate Uday way more than he might think I do. That guy's fucking fire. Yeah, man, we need some comments up in there. Keep going. No, but people aren't that honest. You know how many people are willing to tell me my shit's trash? I, know, I respect that. I respect that honesty. I fucking love sure. it too. I don't like it, yeah. but I love it. Those are not the same words. Um, all right, so your story, we have you as a youth in basically radio. All right, you all, you all with CDs, MP3 players? Are you past CDs? Barely. We had a bit of CDs maybe at the very beginning of my youth, but they died out quick, man. We went into what I remember the most is having my first iPod. Like the iPod era really took over for me. I had the iPod uh, and then the iPod touch real quick after that too. Um, and so like for me, it was, uh, I would say I got an, I had an iPod nano at a young, young age, like I don't know the exact age. I'm going to just go with like eight, seven, something like that. Like an iPod now just to listen to music. That was the only, that was the only purpose of that. Right. And then, uh, and then boom, it hit iPod touch when I was like, I guess nine, 10, you know, is when the switch happened. And when I got one as a gift for like Christmas or something. And then I was crazy. I was on that for a long time because iPod touch came with everything. Now Yo, I, I got a question now. Yeah, go ahead. So you're able to just like off the job, how get all the music you want. Exactly. From, from, from what I can remember, bro, like, you know, you don't remember things when you're like six and younger. Well, for me, it was like, I remember, I don't remember a time without YouTube or like uh, iTunes or nothing. To me, that was like my thing, like, boom, you got iTunes, like for real. Like I remember having access to any song I want whenever I wanted. But back then you still had to pay for it. So I was still in the LimeWire era where we like downloaded that, sh like all those tracks. Uh, so you're like tracks six could... years old on LimeWire, you're saying? Yeah. Eight, like, but yeah, maybe seven, okay, seven, like, eight. That's baffling to me. Not, I, I'm, I'm a little bit playing it up. I'm not actually surprised. I was asking it in a pointed way because this answer, the first time I heard it surprised me it was with Hoshe. Uh, okay is, yeah i think him and i are pretty much the same age pretty close he's age, uh, 20 so, so definitely okay same yeah genre. exactly but yeah, in his yeah, case yeah. it was a couple years later so it was straight youtube you were like yeah. right on the cusp of that i would i would imagine because yeah. youtube starts yeah. in like 06 ish we'll say for like not like yeah, official, so that's, but like exactly so like why i bring this up is because one of the epiphanies i've had is in my world a lot of things is like Yo, Hoshe is so impressive. Big facts. Yo, if you ever can mm -hmm. pop on on a Tuesday, hit up the cipher and show us all what you got. Is all I gotta say. Yeah, me and Hoshe, we talk too much though. If we get at it, like we'll just be talking like all night, man. So we nah, gotta uh, yeah. gotta hold back. <laughs> nah, so we want we we. Uh, I'm saying anyway. We started a cipher on Tuesday for freestyles and shit, and we're trying to yeah, get that to come through. If, if there's a Tuesday I can pop in, I definitely will, bro. Dope. And if ever I can make another day happen, I will let you know. But that's a, yeah, for sure. It's a big yeah, commitment. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, Hoshe is a great talker. Hoshe was a great interview, but he taught me that your musical journey is way different than mine. I'm in high schools okay. and shit, and everything's typecasted. Like, my dad's a rock guy, and my mom's a disco person. I'm able to say uh -huh. genres, but that's all it was. Like, they didn't really, yeah, there's the radio and MC Mario and whatever, Christmas songs, and sure, sure, sure. But, like, they had the shit they listened to in the car, and they had the shit they listened to when they did their thing, and then there was the radio. Um, but in your world, you're being conditioned from the youngest age possible to just listen to whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, pretty much, bro. Yeah. Do you remember some pretty of the much. early shit you had on your like seven year old iPod that you were napstering? <laughs> um, 
Okay, yeah. Uh, I had a lot of Chris Brown. I had Dr. Dre. Um, the uh, still Dre, I guess, what is it? The the green cover. Is that 2001 or something? That's, yeah, exactly. That I had huge. I, was I had 50, 50 Cent on there too. Um, that wow, was you're like was seven doing. listening to 50? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. That's when he was going... And Eminem too. That was a whole era because I, I was introduced to Dr. Dre first. So then it came with Eminem and it came with 50 and then it came with Kendrick. That's just like, you know, the cycle of all the people that Dr. Right. Dre brought up with him. Because I guess as you get older, Kendrick's a lot more of a relevant name in life as you're getting into Big music. time, bro. Because I was still young when Kendrick went off. I was like, uh, like maybe 10 or something like that when Kendrick right. really started going. So, yeah. Did you know Kendrick before he popped off? No, no, I didn't. I, I, the first, I heard of him, like, I guess right before Good Kid, Mad City is when he was really trying to get to, like, mm -hmm. Section 80. That's when I first heard of him. And then uh, he went crazy on Good Kid, Mad City. And then since then, he's been, like, the top, 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 top guy um, for this generation, at least, you know? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I think what he does next will solidify that. And I, I don't mean it. Like... I agree with you on that. The next move, it's a pivotal moment he's at now, for sure. Whatever he does next is the biggest move for him, for sure. Because he's about to become a three-decade artist, and that's where like you really prove your longevity into that true legend category. You're right. Yeah, and you're absolutely I know right. People was... like want to solidify him, but I don't know that I felt that Black Panther album personally. Whoa, to me that one's like amazing, bro. This may bro. also be me. Oh, okay. I'm gonna add a caveat to that. I recently discovered I like melodic trap. As in, okay. like, within a lot, a lot of it was I started adding your guys' music. So I'm going to be real. Mm. Artists like Drew and JK and Pay Fresho are more, are the most melodic track I've listened to more than yeah. the mainstream guys. So believe it or not, it's young Montreal people that are really getting me onto this vibe. Because I listen yeah. to y'all and my, like, I'm going to discover Montreal music shit. And I'm like, I like this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's other artists like Lil Yachty kind of showed me that Alex one isn't trash and like, you know, other stuff like I learned along the way, but it was really just like chain listening to your stuff on my playlist that not like I, I, your stuff literally with other people uh, that got me yeah. a lot more like enthused about the vibes and looking at the flows. And I'm like, yo, they're actually seeing a lot here, right? Because for a long time, we had this misconception that the buyers of the youthful melodic traps are vapid. And then I started reviewing some of it. And I'm like, well, actually, because I do like album reviews too. Not really yeah. anymore. But, uh, yo, JK is killing it. JK is schooling my ass, is all I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm.